What's up, peeps? Another day, and another cheeky little video for you. And this one's a cabinal one, leading on to a bigger breakdown one. What we got here is a standstill monitoring safety relay. And what this is doing, this is monitoring a motor, making sure that you can't open the lid while it's still moving. And how that's working is it's directly connected to the windings and it's checking for voltage. And as you can see, it's orange when it's running. And then when that beast has stopped, and it don't see no voltage no more, the timer starts counting down and then it opening the normally open contacts which is breaking the signal to the plc for the servo drive break then releasing it allowing it just the lid to open and as you can see you got the x's there x1 2 and 3 they're like your reset button on your pilts or any safety relay and then what you got is when you link them out that means that it's an automatic reset it's a cheeky quick overall of the front. So we've got our device like that shown. You've got your supply voltage, output green for safe, orange for run, and then you've got your system fault. That's if you've got an error on the system. Then we've got our two dials. One's the minimum voltage it's looking for, and then the time after the voltage is dropped off, what it counts down to. And then to the right of that, it's just showing you what number of terminals, what to corresponds with the contacts inside. And as always, we do know ledge gets excited with inner workings and the schematics of how this safety relay works. Sp starting off with our supply voltage, you got your A1 and your A2, that's the top bottom line, and then we're going to start off on the top. Starting off the terminals are your A3 and your A4, that's your output if you're on, and your error if you're going to a HMI. Then we've got our X1, 2 and 3, they're your control terminals with your resets, and then we've got our three three normally open contacts, one normally closed, and you gotta change over like a relay going in there. And as you can see with any safety relay, these are all mechanically connected. So if one was to have like an auxiliary going out saying safe, you can't have your contacts welded shut and then the machine saying it was safe. So just ensuring that they all work, because if one fails, they all fail. And as you can see, you've got double contacts in there. That's just giving you some extra protection. So then what we've moved down to is we've got our terminals 64 and 74. That's our outputs to the PLC if you're monitoring it that way. And then the last of it, how it really works is we've got our terminals going in direct from the motor tails itself. And that's monitoring for voltage with the voltage going directly into the logic and that's the real brains of the outfit and that's controlling the whole relay itself the overall of why we got this relay is to keep you safe and the machine's components safe because what it's allowed the motor to wind down break at a reasonable speed and then that won't shatter any components or bring any wear on and it won't allow you to open that lid while that blade is spinning around or any motor to you little champions that are still watching, you're all legit approved.